if your child is growing and the first words they can read are that of Surah Al-Fatiha, the average Muslim should be proud of that. When I say this, I mean, we should be saying, MashaAllah, my child reads Surah Al-Fatiha and Alhamdulillah, the child is saying the adhkar and the child is doing this and doing that in terms of goodness rather than all these moves and everything. That's really hectic. I wonder sometimes how somebody told me, I asked one person, they told me, look, there's only 50 moves. You got to know each move and where it goes. I said, come on, 50 moves. You got to know the order and the sequence and the left and the right and the movement. And what do you achieve from all of that? You're just moving yourself. That's it. Just moving. To me, it looks foolish. But I don't know. Other people say, wow, did you see that? They can do the whole thing. To me, you can read Surah Al-Alaq. Oh, I'll say, wow, the child can actually read the whole of Surah Al-Alaq. MashaAllah, there's a sajda at the end. Just teach them the sujood as well. May Allah Almighty make it easy for all of us. So Allah does things. Allah connects us to the child for a reason. The reason is he holds you responsible at that point for everything that you're going to be filling in this child that is actually given to you as a hard drive formatted. You are going to put in the applications. You're going to put in whatever else. You're going to put in the images. You're going to put in the videos. You're going to put in the sounds. You're going to put in every program that's there, the antivirus and whatever else. It's up to you how you're going to fill this beautiful soul and this human being subhanallah so if you're going to fill the child with goodness inshallah goodness will come out i'm not saying entertainment is haram no it is permissible but on condition it's not displeasing to allah you can't teach little children the lyrics of today that are filled with f's and b's and z's and w's i'm sure you know what the f's and b's are right do you know what the z's and w's are you don't Brother Rahim says he doesn't. Don't worry, I don't either. They just anticipated swear words to come in future. May Allah forgive us. Nonetheless, that's what it is. So we are, we are duty bound. Allah Almighty wants us to, to help the child develop good habits. 